What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, just had a great two-hour live stream with my people and everything else. Shout out to Angry Cowboys uh, fan, becoming a channel member and joining the chat, as well as my man, Game Time Brian, and one of our, check it out. Tell me that doesn't look good. That's with our sublimation printer shirt that's going to be going to my man, Game Time Brian. Shout out to my wife, Tracy, who is learning all the ins and outs of it. And we're going to be having some great stuff and giveaways uh, coming with that stuff. Wait till you see our draft shirts. We're going to have some really cool ones. So I just gotten off of uh, the live stream here, and I see David Moore, who had posted um a picture of jerry jones okay and quoting jerry jones here okay let, let me pop it up here you see jerry jones there he's got a notepad he's yeah he's got a notepad there and it's got some scribbling on it and i'm trying to figure out is this a jerry's house or something i mean does that look like a barbecue grill outside the window there i, I don't know where this is I, I honestly don't. But he said, <laughs> you know, I think there are a handful or more of quarterbacks playing who haven't won a Super Bowl that will win a Super Bowl. And I think Dak is one of them. I'm firm there. He's one of the ones who can. So that was just about 20 minutes ago posted on um, David Moore's uh, YouTube, excuse me, Twitter account. So let me repost that. Um, I'm curious as to if he meant that he's one of the ones that could win it um, with the Cowboys or not. So that, that's my real question. Because when you look at, I'm trying to, let me see if I can get, let, let me get another shot here. I'm oh, sorry that this is, uh, I know this is not professional. This is broke ass media at its finest. But if you look at, I, I'm trying to, th this is literally going to be the joke. Th this is what Jerry Jones has on this notepad, guys. This is literally the notepad. He's saying, Dak Prescott, you know, I believe he's one of a handful of quarterbacks who can who can win the Super Bowl. I'm raised right there. Um, is he a doctor? Because that looks like some doctor, you know, that, that, that looks like uh, he didn't got a prescription there and the doctor's signature. That's just, uh, let me, maybe I can be the owner of the Cowboys. This is literally, doesn't that, doesn't that look like, oh, no, let me try again. Let, 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 let me try again. Let, let me see. We've got the circles right there, and they kind of extend a little bit further. And then we got loop de loop de loop de loop de loop de loop de loops. Loops, okay. All right. Let, let, let me see if I can hold, hold the pin, the, the pin there with it. Uh, uh, does, does, does that look? Okay, there we go. The Dallas Cowboys offseason plan is, I believe, I believe that Dak Prescott, now I don't know what that means that I believe and I'm going to pay him so he's going to be here. And we know that Dak Prescott haters are out there saying, and I, this is just funny to me because they're all saying that it's time for Trey Lance error to begin, that uh, we need to just move on. Nine years of Dak Prescott is too much and that he shouldn't be paid. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say that I'm old enough and I tried to express upon this to a lot of people what it was like after Troy Aikman retired. And thinking about the litany, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, the amount of quarterbacks that came in here that we drafted, that we signed, that we hoped would be okay, guys that were veterans, you know, guys that have been, you know, number one picks, 
you know, the Quincy Carters, the Ryan Leafs, the Clint Stoners, the uh, Drew Bledsoe's, the Randall Cunningham's, the, uh, damn, what's the guy from Cleveland? Um, damn. Uh, um, Vinny Testaverdes. We literally brought in everybody. And for those out there that are mad about us having a 12 and five seasons, three years in a row, and I want you to understand here that I have been part of watching the Cowboys having threes in a row. I remember seeing three in a row of eight and eight. I remember seeing three in a row of five and 11. You think you're hurting now, bro. You think you're hurting now with a playoff, you know, maybe one playoff win or, or a one and done. Try having the season over by midpoint of the season. Three years straight. This whole golden goose of thinking that, you know, we're just going to magically draft a quarterback that's going to get you there. You're going to have to have a couple of those five and 11 seasons to get down there to be able to do it. And as teams are finding out, it's not that easy just to be there in that position to draft a guy. Take a look at some of the quarterbacks that have been traded this year for literally peanuts. It ain't easy, bro. It ain't easy. So, yeah, Jerry Jones putting out his game plan for the season. I don't know if that makes me feel better or if this makes me feel worse that he's got a pad and I, you know, I, I, I don't know what that is. I honestly, I, I honestly have no clue as to what he is squiggling down on his NFL notepad. If you know, by all means, let me know. Cause I'd like to know on this one. Cause, Ooh, bro, bro. Cowboys drama continues. And um, let me say from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all of you great fans for being here, for going through the ups and downs and mostly downs lately of the Dallas Cowboys season because um, it's been hard out here this year. Um, I know that this is the funny thing. The funny thing about this is the pain that we're suffering right now, I know the season is going to be better than what it looks like right now. I know that we will get beyond all of this madness and all of this bullshit and stuff, that we do have a core of a really good team and that we will be better than what people think. Will that be good enough to win a Super Bowl? I don't think so. But then again, we don't know what else is planned for this offseason. So I'm going to still try and hold them accountable and hope for the best. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate